hey guys welcome back to my channel it's the melon srna i am back with another video today's video i am going to be talking about how i plan on preparing for my new semester coming up in two weeks so if you are interested then please keep on watching first things first if you enjoy watching me you enjoy my content you enjoy my channels my personality then make sure you are subscribed make sure you hit the bell notification that way you are notified every time i upload i start school in two weeks well less than less than two weeks honestly it is time to get back into study mode going back to school and doing all of the things that i need to do so i can pass the semester and succeed how do i plan on you know preparing for this semester well for one my classes for Bla on blackboard should be available soon so i'm able to like log in and see the syllabus um see you know the reading and things like things of that sort i do need to go ahead and you know get the ebooks for my class i already have nagel help so i will definitely start kind of reading up on it once i get my syllabus for my semester i will start the readings and kind of like you know get a head start with the readings for sure i did talk to an upperclassman and she said that you know she really didn't have time to read once everything started and you know once you get back in the groove of things like she really honestly didn't have a lot of time to read so she really just skimmed through a lot of the chapters which is probably something that i may end up doing so I do want to just start reading now and start kind of making notes because I am the type of person that I can't just read something one time. I have to read it multiple times to be able to grasp the concept. So I definitely want to start um, my readings once I get my syllabus. However, I was able to obtain the syllabus for all of my classes for the previous year. There is a writing class that I'm taking this semester, so I do want to get a head start on a lot of my writing i believe we have to write a total of four different articles i believe they're like peer review or like summarizing like reading an article and summarize what's that called some type of review something anyways i know i have to do a couple of those i think we have a total of four it's online I definitely want to start looking up some articles that i need that would pertain to whatever topic based on last year's syllabus and i definitely want to develop a rough draft i will keep in mind that you know this might change with this semester how that's why i only want to do like a rough job and still have like a couple of articles as a backup so that i'm able to use them so that's something definitely that i want to do because i know the writing is more so like busy work and a lot of people that i talk to and when i mean by a lot of people i'm, I'm referring to the upperclassmen that have already taken you know the classes that i'm about to take the writing is what kind of stumped a lot of people so they were saying that if i can just get that out of the way it would be a lot more easier i spoke about last semester using quizlet i wasn't able to make my own flashcards i borrowed someone else's that had already made hers pre like pre-made hers so i was actually talking to the girl a few weeks ago but i told her i was like you know i really want to make my own flashcards because i really feel like when you make your own you, whenever you like write something down you really grasp the information so that's definitely something a study tip i plan on implementing so that you know i'm able to like you know retain my own information and focus on whatever key points that's necessary the first two weeks were like let me just chill let me sleep in let me just you know put my baby right next to me let let her watch tv let me catch up on some sleep but last week and this week i've really been trying to wake up every morning at 5 30 a.m six o'clock kind of get my body back into that like waking up early routine i even started doing something a little different I wanted to refrain from always having to like the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is pick up your phone and scroll on social media. I wanted to kind of refrain from doing that and kind of get my mind more stimulated or just more in the morning more relaxed and just prepared for the day. So I actually started meditating. I really thought meditating was some bullshit. However, I do have to say I've been doing it for about a week and a half. And I and I really do enjoy it. I feel a sense of, I feel a sense of calmness and sense of peace, a sense of inner peace. And I really do prefer to do it in the morning. I just feel like it's a great start to my day. I've started to, you know, listen to more audiobooks just because I want to get, you know, in a better mindset. I know this just has nothing to do with like studying, but I just 
wanted to share but those are some things that i'm doing to kind of like get my mind back into studying i just feel like you know these breaks are beneficial we need that like self-care and i think it's important to have self-care while you're in a program like this i really think self-care is important and i really do urge you that like if you you know you're in a stressful job or whatever the situation may be definitely take care of yourself and your mindset because you will suffer if you just don't take care of yourself you know your grades will suffer everything in your life will not go right if you don't take care of yourself and that's something that i had to you know like remember remember me being a mom you know I'm always like trying to put my daughter first and trying to do this for her and forgetting all of the simple things like eating and drinking water and working out and just having a moment to myself because I feel like once I have my own self-care it is it, it makes it makes for a better I really want to start watching the Nagel Hout videos. Nagel Hout is really like a well-known um, CRNA that is now a professor that teaches, I think he teaches at Kaiser, I'm not really sure. He wrote a book, a textbook that everyone pretty much uses and he films a lot of um lectures that are based in pharmacology that is what i'm taking this semester farm and i definitely want to start getting a head start on watching his videos understanding the concepts of pharmacology when it comes to the medications that we'll be administering in nurse anesthesia i need to like get to hustling because i literally have a week from sunday before school starts and i need to just get I need to get back in the groove of things so those are just a few things that i just plan on doing within this next like a week and a half before school starts so that i am able to be prepared for school i will continuously do like study vlogs and you know updates on my study routine because honestly things do change and i feel like from semester to semester they will change based on the different professors you may have as the semester progresses i will update you on any study tips that i have for you i'll also add a blog to my website in regards to study tips some that have helped me so they're able to help you as well and i'll also keep that updated so once again thank you so much for watching and for tuning in Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also comment down below and tell me what your favorite study tip is. Let's get a conversation going in the comments. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.